Hello and welcome to this first Godot version 3 minimal tutorial. Uh, let's jump right in. Today we're just going to move a sprite across the screen uh, without physics. You do this different if you have physics, but we're just going to move a sprite across the screen in different directions. So here we are at our main screen here. I'm going to say 2D scene. I'm going to rename this player. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this default icon here and now we're just going to attach a script to it. So I'm going to right click on our icon here, our sprite. I'm going to say attach a script. We'll call it player or maybe I should call it move. Okay. Create. Now, this is a sprite. This is what would happen when the game starts loads, when the character first loads, but we want to go to process. We want something to happen over and over and over again. And what do we want to change? We want to change the position of our sprite. So I'm just going to start typing position. You can see it auto completes it here for me. Now we this is 2D, so we're working with X and Y. Y is up and down, X is left and right. So if we want to move it to the right, we're going to say position dot X. And then we're going to say plus equals, and we're going to give it a number. The bigger this number is, the faster it's going to move. I'm just going to say one, and we will hit uh, F6 to load up this scene. We've got to save it first. I'm just going to call it, I'll just call it move. There we go, save, and now it's started. And you can see our character is now moving to the right. Going to go ahead and close that window. If we want to move to the left, we're going to say negative equals one. So basically we're taking the current position and subtracting one from it over and over and over again. F6 to load this scene up, and now he's moving to the left. Now if we want to move up and down, we can say Y. So Y negative one will make him move up. Again, F6 to load this current scene. It's moving up, and if we want it to go the other way, we're going to say plus y. And now he's moving down. And of course, you can combine these. I can take this, and I can say plus y and plus x. And then when we start this up, now he's moving diagonally. So that's basic movements in Godot.